Like people, nature balances itself by consuming and replacing energy. Sustainable practices seek to reduce consumption and replace a maximum of energy in nature, and in turn, reduce impacts on the planet's natural balance. The time has come to think about the balance of life and our responsibility to sustainability. Brass Camp, a Brazilian company that has always seen the world holistically, began imagining and developing new ways to make plastic. Thus it launched in 2007, the first polyethylene made from 100% renewable resources, the green plastic, produced on industrial scale and marketed since 2010 with the startup of the green ethylene plant, located in southern Brazil. But how is it produced? From sugarcane. Everything begins at the plantation. Brazil has vast and fertile land with climate and soil that are ideal for cultivating sugarcane making the country the world's largest sugarcane producer. What's more, Brazilian sugarcane is highly efficient in terms of water consumption and the vast majority irrigated naturally by rainfall. Brazil is a very large country with 851 million hectares, of which 355 million hectares are available for agriculture. Currently, around 1% of arable land is planted with sugarcane with only 0.02% or 65,000 hectares used to make green polyethylene. Brazil's sugarcane industry is concentrated in the center south region, which accounts for 85% of the country's production. This region is located over 2,000 kilometers from the Amazon rainforest. Brass Camp has also drafted a code of conduct for its ethanol suppliers that establish good practices for the entire production process. Sugarcane cultivation captures CO2 from the atmosphere during its natural photosynthesis process. The sugarcane is harvested and sent to mills that convert it into ethanol and sugar. The bagasse from the sugarcane is used to make bioenergy to meet the needs of the production process as well as part of the energy demand of the cities. The ethanol used to make brass cans green polyethylene helps capture and sequester CO2 from the atmosphere. From the mills, the ethanol is transported to be converted into green ethylene through a process developed by Brass Chem. From this point forward, the process used to make green polyethylene follows the same process as that used to make conventional polyethylene. To give you a better understanding, the production of 200,000 tons of green polyethylene represents an annual reduction of CO2 in the atmosphere of some 800,000 tons. This is equivalent to the annual emissions from 800,000 cars, or the equivalent of CO2 emitted annually by the energy consumption of 200,000 families. Upon arriving at the client, green polyethylene is processed using the same equipment used to process conventional polyethylene. The process and the quality of the final product are maintained with no need to invest in new machinery and equipment. Green polyethylene is used to make a wide array of products that today can be found in Brazil, Europe, Asia, Americas, and Oceania. After consumption, products made from Brass Chem's green polyethylene can be recycled using existing collection channels for recycling conventional polyethylene. Green polyethylene demonstrates not only Brass Chem's commitment to sustainability, but also the commitment of the entire production chain. Of ethanol producers, companies that use green polyethylene, and consumers who choose these products. To certify green polyethylene, Brass Chem has created the exclusive I'm Green seal, which guarantees the consumers are selecting a product that uses plastic made from sugarcane. The seal was created so that our clients could communicate to consumers their commitment to sustainability. Brass Chem Green Polyethylene, made from renewable resources helps reduce greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. Same manufacturing process as conventional polyethylene. Recyclable. Bears the I'm Green seal. For more information, visit www.brasschem.com.br forward slash green plastic.